my lovely members asked me if you could put these types of stamps in resin to get a picture and then take it out and would the resin stick to it? And I said, do you know what? I don't know. So what I've done is I've chosen some stamps that I particularly like and I thought, well, I'm going to have a go. One of the things that concerns me about using stamps is that they're not going to stick and these I've used quite a few times so they're not very sticky on the back at all. And I think they'll just lift up and then you'll get resin underneath them and then you never get them out. So what I'm going to do is I've got some of this tack it over and over. And I love this stuff. It's brilliant. I'm going to paint this on the back of my mould. And hopefully that will allow my mould to stick to the silicon mould and not move and not flow up. And prevent any resin getting underneath. Now you're meant to put this on with a brush. Of course. But I'm just using my fingers, as you can see. I'm going to do all the stamps like this. And then once this is dry, I'm then going to attach it to the moulds that I want to use. And then I'm going to stamp on it and see which sorts of stamps work. Once this is dry, it goes clear like this. So it goes on white and then it goes clear. And it remains very sticky. I'm going to put this on here. And you can reposition it. That is the great thing about this. I'm going to push those down and then I'm going to push from the other side as well to make sure that I've got a really good contact because I don't want those floating up and I certainly don't want any resin if I can help it. I mean, this might not work, I don't know, going underneath that stamp because I want to be able to get that stamp out nice and easily. And this is really useful stuff, I find, if you're stamping and your stamps won't stick to your stamping block. You put a little bit of this on the back of the stamps, then it sticks to the stamping block lovely. Because older stamps don't work very well sometimes, do they? Well, now we've got those stuck on, what I'm going to use is a variety of different things and tests. The first one I'm going to use is this stays on Jet Black inking pad. Now, I want to try and get that... Maybe it would have been easier to do it prior. All the way on here. I don't want both of them in that colour. It would make life easier if I did, but I don't. Any excess that I've got on the mould, I'm going to have to wash or wipe off. Right, well that should do. I need to get a baby wipe and wipe that off the other one first. I don't want that on there. I don't want it on that mould. Uh, and I'm going to let that dry now before I pour any resin on it. The next one I'm going to do is this leafing glue. This leafing pen and it gives a gold finish to it and we'll see how this works out and that should stick onto this stamp really fairly easily and again i'll let that dry fully before i put any resin in allowing them to dry i'm hoping is going to stop any of these colors bleeding into the resin and then just spoiling it all the other things i'm going to be using are these stamps these pretty colored stamps and i'm going to use those on the greens here, letting them dry. And then I'm also going to be using it on the balloons. And then I'm going to try out, last but not least, these chalk pens. And I'm going to leave this one completely clear. We'll let all those dry up. I'll come back to them, fill them in with resin. Hopefully none of these things will have lifted up. And then we can go from there. Well, now my stamps are all ready. I'm pouring over the J Diction 4 Hour Cure resin onto this because I want this to cure fairly quickly. And I think that will grip hold of any of the colours that I've put on these stamps really well. I'm pouring it slowly because I'm not quite sure how the bubbles are going to attach to these stamps. So pouring it slowly should hopefully avoid adding any additional bubbles to them. I just would like to say a quick thank you to all my members who have been so brilliant the last few months as well. If you'd like to become a member and benefit from all the perks that membership can offer, the link for that is in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you over there. So carrying on, pouring this slowly, making sure that I cover everything up, and then popping any of the bubbles that come up to the top. Also, quick thank you to all the people that got me a coffee. There was loads this month. Really do appreciate it. So picking out the little hairs and dislodging any bubbles, popping the bubbles with my long neck lighter so as not to damage the mould, doing a bit of tappy wappy and letting it cure. Well, these are finished curing now, but I can already see an issue with one of them, and that is this one here, where I obviously didn't stick that down well enough, and it's lifted up. It was a bit of a curly stamp to start with. I'd used it quite a lot, so that might have affected it. And now, I could have easily just took that out, recast this, and showed you it as a perfect finish, but that isn't what my channel's all about. Despite the people that say, oh, you, some of your work is crap, well, I like to show you what goes right. I also like to show you when it doesn't work out because 
then it doesn't give unrealistic expectations for people starting to use resin and think, why can't I get anything right? Why doesn't mine come out perfect? Because it just doesn't come out perfect every time. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, well, I can still feel the sticky on this stamp here, look, that I used. So that one, I think, is going to come out absolutely fine. Although I don't know at this stage whether it's going to leave that gold behind. But we will soon find out once we get the stamp out. So how are we going to get that out? I'm going to use this little tool, which probably isn't the best tool for it. I'm just going to release this here around the edges. I mean, this has gone lovely and hard, this resin. And now I'm going to get a little bit of a wooden stick because I don't want to damage it and see if I can pry that out. I think once I get one bit out, the rest should just follow. And it does seem to be lifting up. It is a bit fiddly, but not, not too bad. And it has left the gold behind. I don't want to pull too hard on it because I don't want to rip the stamp if I can help it. That has definitely left the impression of that in there. I would have to go round and tidy that up. But from the other side, it looks quite nice. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one out because it lifted up and there's quite a lot of resin covering it. But I'm going to have a go using the same method as I did before. Well, that black has definitely stayed in there, but I'm not sure I'm going to get this whole malt this whole stamp out because of it being quite well coated in resin where it lifted up. Well, I have got the stamp out, although it is ruined, but it definitely left a pattern in there. And I quite like the pattern. Not from that side. I mean, I would have to fill that with resin. But so that's kind of a not not a win. But let's have a look at these ones. So these are the coasters. And again, I, these stuck really down well because I can still feel all the sticky on here. These coaster molds are getting past the point of where I can use them I think I'm gonna have to start thinking about getting some more so this should lift out quite easily now this one that one laid nice and flat and it's coming out quite easily now there is a little bit over pour there but that's not a problem and let's have a look so that's stamped in there quite nicely I think let's have a look at this one this is the cupcake and this was done with the acrylic pens that was these ones were I want to quite like that as well. So it's an experiment. It's not coming out. I think I would have to work on it and perfect it a little bit. Maybe what I would do is, next time I did it, I would spray, seal them down, then give it a very light spray of mould release to see if that would work. But overall, I think that one's come out quite nice. Let's have a look at this one. Now, this was the large one I put in here. And this laid flat. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't use the stamps that you want to keep. Don't think it's good it's doing the stamps any good i'd use the old ones if i was you so that one's come out but obviously we had writing on it so that's come out backwards that side but have a great day has come out well that side again this one needs just a tiny bit of trimming and you could fill this one in with a different color i quite like it from that side i think it gives quite a nice effect but obviously with the writing around the wrong way you would have to avoid one with writing on so let's have a look at this one. Oh, another one sunk right the way down to the bottom. So we're never getting that one out. Oh, the balloons have come out okay. That's what it looks like from that side. And then from that side, it looks okay. This is what they all look like finished. And to be honest, it isn't a failure. And I really like this one, this one, and this one. Not so keen on this one from this side, but actually like it from this side because I think it's come out really well on there and certainly the black one. This one I love with the leaves and the flowers, or well, little one flower, but the leaves and the balloons, and the cakes look great as well. <laughs> Let me know what you think, and if you know of anyone that's done this, and they've had success with it as well, if they've done it in a different way, or if you've done it in a different way, I'd be really interested to know. I mean, this is an experiment after all, as you know, I like to do experiments as well on my channel. Please boot that like button if you've enjoyed this, and if you want to get hold of anything that I've used today in this experiment, then I'll put it in the links in the description below, and check out the other experiments that are coming up next. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.